Golf, not a winter sport, but <laughs> disc form, apparently. You know, if it was me, I think I would have spent the whole day inside if possible, yeah. but I'm not like a disc golf fanatic like these guys are. It was pretty cool, actually, to go out there today. Uh, we're all familiar with the ice mm -hmm. bowl, right? The Packers, the Cowboys, Bart Starr and all that. But this is not that. This is the Twin Cities version at Brookview at Golden Valley today. One heck of a way to hold a fundraiser for Second Harvest Food Bank. What would possess a person to brave two feet of snow to do this in the middle of winter? Ask these guys and they'll tell you the better question might be, why wouldn't you? The people that play it and get kind of infected with the game, um, which is really easy to do after the first time you go out and play it, um, they, don't, they don't stop, you know, I mean these guys are very, very dedicated to their game. So much so that you can't ask a person who lives to play not to play for six months waiting for winter to end. So here we find 50 of them braving the elements. Minnesotans are all pretty hardy people and we don't typically slow down much with whatever activities we do in the summertime. You know, we're out doing something different maybe, but you know, the great thing about disc golf is that you can play it all year. There are, of course, some modifications necessary. The whole challenge is obviously finding your disc and when we have two feet of snow like we have today, then it becomes a little bit of a challenge to find something that is, you know, just eight and nine inch diameter disc. So what a lot of the guys will do is that people will put streamers and they'll use wrapping ribbon that uh, you would just wrap on a present and they will take small streamers like a three, four foot section of a, of a ribbon and tape it to the top of the disc so they can find the disc. This is the event's first time at Brookview in Golden Valley, but it's in its 24th year. The Ice Bowl is a national series of tournaments, raising several hundred thousand dollars for food shelves across the country. Minnesota just, you know, icier than most. It's just like going for a, a walk in the woods in the winter. As long as you have some discs to play with and you can find your way into the park, you can go and play.